Good morning. I am here in Index, Washington, and today I'm going to be doing a trail that's not quite an official trail. It's called Index Town Wall. This is not a maintained trail, but it is going to be a really good training hike for me for scrambling. It is two 0.2 miles round trip with over 1300 feet of elevation gain. So I think you can do the math. It is going to be steep. This does get into some scrambling territory. And um, I'm at Forks of the Sky State Park, which is mostly a rock climbers park. And this sheer rock wall is the reason why. This is the index town wall. But there is a hikers, kind of unofficial hikers trail that will take you to the top of the cliffs for some spectacular views of the mountains here in Index. Um, should be a interesting adventure to say the least. Let's get going. First part of this trail um, follows along the side of the railroad tracks to get you to the correct climbers trail. So just keeping my distance and listening for for trains and everything. But oh man, I'm so glad the cloud cover is high enough that we're gonna see all the mountains. So I'm really excited. These are some of my favorite mountains. The patterning on this rock is absolutely beautiful. Like the dark stripes contrasted with the light. It's so cool. I can absolutely see why rock climbers are drawn to this area. Those cliffs up there are where we're going, but we're taking a trail that's gonna go kind of up along the back instead of straight up, but some epic cliffs. All right, I'm on the trail, quote unquote, the trail. It is supposed to be difficult to follow. I have navigation and um, it's been flat so far. So now uh, it's going to get steep. I have no idea what I'll be able to film, but <sighs> should get spicy. Yeah, this is um really just about what I was expecting. Once it starts climbing, it is just relentlessly up. Um, and the fact that it's unmaintained uh, certainly doesn't help, but making progress, pretty easy to follow the trail so far. Um, but yeah, boy oh boy, climbing up though. <sighs> But yeah, it's just been this kind of, um, and this is a shallower part of the trail. Supposedly up ahead, it's gonna flatten out again before the real steep climb begins. So we'll see what that's like.
I am halfway up the wall and on the only flat portion of trail since it starts climbing and I'm on the final stretch for the rest of the elevation. This is quite steep, which is what I was expecting. Um, but boy, oh boy, it is a calf burner. Uh, definitely don't come here if you skip leg day. Uh, but yeah, through these, through these trees, you can get up on the uh, place where we're going. But yeah, this is the only flat portion of trail after the climb begins, so I'm enjoying it. So just came up this and then scrambled up these rocks. GoPro always flattens out elevation, but yeah, we're getting into the real climb here. Continuing to follow this path along the base of the, the ridge up here until uh, it opens up for the path that we can hook up and get to the top. All right, now all that's left to do is to crack climb this section here and then we'll be on top. I'm just, I'm just kidding. The, the path is, the path is here. <laughs> We're going around that. Um, looks like fun rock climb for, for those who are experienced though. Uh, but yeah, trail's actually been really pretty so far. Steep, but pretty. I am almost done with the climbing. I've done a good portion of it already and it's starting to get flat again. Um, and also the top. I can see the top and the sun is coming out. So I'm gonna get some amazing views at the top. Oh, it's gonna be worth it. Ah. But yeah, I can see, I can kind of see the end. And yeah, it's definitely flattening out, so almost there. I made it to the top of Index Town Wall and I have to say it is quite amazing. This is a really unique view of the mountains around here. It is definitely a steep climb. I'm not sure I'd call it a scramble. I'm not even sure I'd call it class two, but it's definitely steep and it will definitely give you a good calf workout. But oh my gosh, this view of the valley is unique. I've done a lot of hikes around here and none of them give you this view. Oh my god. All right, so I'll show you some of the mountains. So down here, the river is the Skykomish River. 
This is the cute little town of Index. And uh, down there on the train tracks, that's where I started. And starting here, this is Mount Persis. My favorite mountain, Mount Index. Um, if you can see the waterfall there, that is Bridal Veil Falls. And then um, at the base of the snow here is going to be where Lake Serene is. And then here, this one right here is Mount Bering. Um, I'll have to look up the name of this mountain. It's almost on the tip of my tongue. I think maybe it's Gun Peak. I'm not 100% sure though, but wow. This is definitely a view worth climbing for. Yeah, Mount, Mount Index is, I hesitate to say my favorite because you never know, but I think it probably is my favorite mountain. I'm always just so excited to go see it. I have been ever since I saw it when I was really little. Oh, it's an amazing mountain, absolutely beautiful. And you can see it from highway too. Like you don't need to climb to, to see it. It's right along the highway, but there's just something about that mountain really magical. It has been an amazing time up here and it's been a long time. I haven't wanted to not leave a place so badly in a while. Um, but unfortunately, I do have to start heading back down. Um, this descent is, you know, it's gonna be steep, but it's actually not gonna be uh, too bad at all. And I mean, it'll go fast at the very least, go faster than uh, coming up, so. Um, I am gonna head back, but oh wow, what a view, worth the climb. Coming back down, I guess I'll show you, this isn't the steepest part of the trail per se, but it's where you like, you know, gotta scramble up some boulders. The trail goes just right up through here and you kind of just weave your way through. It's not terribly steep, but um, if you're expecting a nice trail, then that could come as a bit of a surprise. And uh, man, the descent is going so fast because I mean, you drop like two feet of elevation with every step.
I made it back down to the car. It took me 45 minutes up and then like, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes down. Going down steep trails goes fast because, I mean, you make a lot of progress quickly. But this was an amazing trail. I love this area. I love Index, the town, the mountain, all of it. And I've done a lot of trails around here, and this definitely has really unique views of the entire area um, that you really can't get from any other trail. That being said, this is not an officially maintained trail, and it definitely is not maintained or, you know, graded or designed like you would expect a trail to be on. If you read trip reports for it, you'd think it's like boulder scrambling the entire way and it's definitely not that it's just really steep it's not graded super well and you know some parts of the trail are a little difficult to follow it gets a little almost bushwhacky there's some blowdowns um i think the trip reports definitely over exaggerate but i would say that if you are used to hiking regularly maintained and you know sanely graded trails this is probably not the trail for you, but if you're looking for an adventure, you know, what this trail lacks in proper maintenance, it makes up for in adventure and views. But um, yeah, it always is fun to come out to Index and explore. And man, I really wasn't expecting this trail to be so fantastic. I was expecting the views, but just the whole thing, wonderful. This is absolutely gorgeous. The rock faces and everything are so cool. So ah, that concludes yet another hike in early spring. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to follow more adventures on trail here in Washington. Thank you so much for watching and here are my favorite pictures from the trail today. Enjoy. I won't make them all of Mount Index. <laughs>